What's up, everybody? Hope all of y'all are doing undeniably fan freaking fantastic out there. I know why I am, because tonight is Impact Wrestling's No Surrender 2023 event. And folks, just looking at this card, it, it looks pretty dope. Like, like I, I'm, I'm very impressed by how this card is looking. It, and it looks like we got a ramble of about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 matches. So without any further delay, let's just get into them, shall we? Alright, first let's ramble about the pre-show matches. First up, we got Deanna Perrazzo taking on Giselle Shaw. I don't know what it is about Giselle Shaw, but lately I'm starting to see a little bit more of an edge to her. Like, she's starting to become a little bit more heelish, in a way. Like, I know recently Impact lost uh, Chelsea Green, and since then, Giselle Shaw, she's been stepping up in her place. But now also... I'm starting to notice that Deanna Perrazzo, she's starting to uh, get a little bit of a babyface push to her name. I don't know where this is going to go, but... Mm, I, I, I picture Giselle Shaw winning this match. I kind of do. Yeah. Giselle Shaw is going to win this match and she's going to do it dirty. Alright, we're well, moving on. We got Jonathan Gresham taking on Mike Bailey. Kind of hoping Jonathan Gresham to win this match because when AEW bought Ring of Honor, Jonathan Gresham, he was the Ring of Honor champion at the time, and it's like he was given the short end of the stick, basically, just so he could drop the title to Claudio Casanoli at that time. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping to see a Jonathan Gresham push here on Impact at least. So yeah, I'm going to give this one to Jonathan Gresham. Alright, now moving on to the main card, we got the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championships being defended by the Death Dolls, who was defending against the Hex of Alzen K and Marty Bell. Now, don't know which two members of the Death Dolls is going to be, though. Whether it's Taya and Jessica, or Rosemary and Taya, or Jessica and Rosemary. But this match for me is kind of cool by itself. Because I kind of wanted to see Allison K versus Ty Valkyrie for a long time. And I remember when uh, Allison K used to be on Impact a few years ago. I, for I didn't forgot what name she used to go, but I think it was like Serena, S Soraya, something like that. I, I don't remember. But, but in the case of the Hex, though, they also got Father James Mitchell in their corner. Not quite sure where that's going to go, but lately, Father James Mitchell, he's been talking about how he works for Rosemary's dad. I don't know where that storyline is going to go, but I want to see it go somewhere. Now look, I love the Death Dolls. I really do. I love Rosemary. I love Jessica. I love Ty Valkyrie. I love the whole group. Okay? But if they are to lose the titles, I want to see where the storyline is going to go with Hex and Father James Mitchell. So, I, I'm going to give this one to the Hex, but only if, only if between now and Rebellion, I get to see who Rosemary's dad is. Alright, next up, we have a dot combat match for the Digital Media Championship as Joe Hendry defends against Moose. You saw how I edited that, right? I said his name and he appeared. Cause I believe in Joe Hendry. I, no, 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 stop, stop, Jim, stop. <laughs> not, not doing that again. But yeah, I, I remember the first dot combat match between uh, Jordan Grace and Matt Cardona. That one, that 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 one looked pretty cool. So this is probably going to do the same. This one's probably going to look cool as well. But I, I am glad that Joe Hendry is the digital media champion. Like like, he is doing wonders for that title and. I, I'm appreciating it a lot. So, I, I don't want to see Joe Hendry lose a title tonight. Nope, I don't. Alright, next up, we have ourselves a six-man tag team match as Bullet Club's Chris Bay, Ace Austin, and Kenta take on the team of Time Machine, a.k.a. the Motor City Machine Guns, Chris Saban, Alex Shelley, and Kushida. So, I, I think this is Kenta's first ever match for Impact Wrestling. 
maybe it is. I, 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 I think it is, yeah. So, I, I think Kenta needs to look very successful for this match here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this one to Bullet Club here. All right, next up, the Impact Knockouts World Championship is on the line as Mickey James defends against Masha Slamovich. All right. Back when Masha Slamovich won that uh, Fatal 4-Way at Hard to Kill, I didn't really like it that much. Because, come on, Masha Slamovich, she just got out of a feud with Jordan Grace. She had just lost to her, lost her winning streak to Jordan Grace. And Masha Slamovich, she was the last person that Jordan Grace defended against successfully. So now, Masha Slamovich, she's going right back immediately into the title picture against Mickey James. And when Mickey James did win at Hard to Kill, there was like a weight that got lifted off my shoulders. I, w I was happy to see Mickey James win that match. So I, I don't want to see her lose the title this soon. I don't. So, yeah, Mickey James, hope you win tonight, ma'am. All right. Next up, we got Frank Kazarian versus Khan. Now, the storyline headed into this match is pretty interesting. Violent by Design has turned into The Design. Alright, instead of being Eric Young, Cody Deaner, and Joe Doring, it is now Cody Deaner. He's the one in charge. And he's got Alan Angels, Khan, formerly known as Connor from The Ascension, and Sammy Callahan. Now, the. the there's like a bad taste being left on my mouth right now of uh, Frankie Gazarian trying to save Sammy Callahan from this cult, basically. And uh, uh, Sammy, all you had to do was just bring OBE back to fight the design. That's all you had to do. But no, you had, you just, you just had to join the design. You, Sammy, you're a leader. You're not a follower, okay? This ain't like you, bruh. Snap out of it. So, uh, I'm kind of hoping for Khan to win this match. I do. I, I mean, I don't know. Like, deep down, I feel like the design is just like a bootlegged version of Violent by Design. Because first Eric was the leader, and now Cody Diener is the leader. Now the role that Cody Deaner was in, Alan Angels is now. Now, Violent by Design, they had Big Joe Doring as their muscle, but now the design, they have Khan as their muscle. Alright? So, I, I'm kind of picturing Frank, Frank Kazarian winning this, winning this match. But just for future reference though, I want to see Khan get a little bit more of a push to himself here, because um, Khan, he's a big dude, I want to see him get a big push here in the future. Come on, Khan, he's big, he's strong, let's make him look like it, alright? Let's make him look powerful whenever he gets a chance. Alright, next up, we have a Fatal 4-Way match to determine the number one contender for the Impact World Championship. We have Brian Myers versus PCO versus Steve Macklin versus Heath. Now, I would love nothing more for PCO to win this match. I freaking love PCO. Heck, I love Brian Myers too, and I respect the heck out of Heath. But Steve Macklin, for months, he's been given this push, and he hasn't been really going anywhere with it. Like, for, for months, Steve Macklin, he has been debating and complaining, saying that he deserves a shot at the Impact World Championship. So, why can't he have it now? Why can't he have it now? Just give it to him already. Just give it to him already, please. Alright? So, yeah. I want Steve Macklin to win this match. Alright? I do. Just to make him shut up already. Alright. Next up, lastly, as a matter of fact, the Impact World Championship is online as Josh Alexander defends against Rich Swan. Josh Alexander versus Steve Macklin, that sounds like a pretty good match to me in the future. But Josh Alexander, though, I, 
I know he's got to win this match. I, I, he has to. I know he does. Because recently I just watched a New Japan's Battle in the Valley. And I didn't even know that Kushida and Josh Alexander has a match coming up. So, I know Josh, he's got to take that, that belt of his to, to meet Kushida in the future. So, yeah. Josh Alexander, he's totally winning this match. Go get him, Walking Weapon. But yeah, that's been another episode of uh, Ring Rounds. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope all you viewers out there will enjoy the show happening tonight. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And also, please, 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 please subscribe to me as well. That would help me out a lot too. So yeah, folks, um, until next time, make sure all of you remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah, I'm out.